Yo, what is going on, you beautiful people? Today we're going to be playing some games with uh, Zapdos and Friends, the Zapdos Ultra Beast deck. Uh, and I know I've played a video or uh, played some games with it before in a video before. Um, but uh, I've updated the list, and it's by far my favorite deck to play right now in standard. A lot of stuff you can do, um, a lot of ways to come back in games, um, and then utilizing the Nihilago and the <laughs> Sledgehammer on Buzzwall is always super fun. Um, so I'm coming at you with my updated list and uh, some games today uh, with the uh, Zapdos and Friends deck. Uh, I've added an Energy Lotto. I don't think this was my last video. And then I've also added the Let Loose Marshadow, which has been ridiculously good. Uh, I don't know. I almost feel like Let Loose Marshadow should not be in like about every deck right now. The card is just so crazy good. Um, but yeah, this is the updated list. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get into some games. That first game here, I believe we are playing against a Bocephalon deck. A very favorable matchup, um, as long as we set up. And our initial start is looking fine. Uh, Coco Prism is a fine start. Uh, it's not terrible. Then generally want to save him for a little bit later, but uh, I'll take it opposed to like a Coco GX start for sure. Uh, we have the Nest Ball, probably for Jirachi, and then switch into Jirachi. We'll see what their start is. A Bocephalon. Yeah, definitely going to be Nest Ball for Jirachi, switching to Jirachi. I might Stellar Wish immediately to find another Nest Ball or even an Ultra Ball and find something to put the energy on. I think I will. Ideally a Nest Ball. There we go. Going to just grab a Zapdos and throw an energy on. Going to check our prizes here as well. Zapdos, uh, Zapshrikus here. Look at the whole Pokemon squad showed up besides the Jirachi. Dig a little bit deeper. Double E power prize. That's not good, but we hopefully find those later on. And net, no, we use double nest ball. Um, it's like a sh nope, shrine in hand. Um, two Guzma made their way into the prize cards as well, as well as a Lily. And I don't know what the last one is, but it's not that big of a deal. Should be chilling. Uh, yeah, grab the Zapdos. I'm debating putting the shrine in play. I think I'm going to hold on to it for a turn. Um, yeah. Go ahead, let our opponent be a little bit more aggressive with their stadiums and hopefully have a response stadium. It sounds a little bit better to me. Um, let's see. Ultra Ball away, Lightning plus Lotto. Give ourselves the option of the switch or the escape rope next turn. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and just grab the, the Blitzel. There he is. The Pretzel. Get him in play. Get him ready to become a Zip Striker. That sounds good to me. And then we have the option or of the switch or the escape rope next turn, just depending on what um, our opponent's bench looks like. If we just want to hit the active, boom, we got the switch. If we want to hit him on the bench, boom, we got the escape rope. Um, like if they only bench down Poipoles, we'll probably escape rope force one of them up. Oh, that's right. They are playing Muck. All the Blissephalon players are playing Muck these days. All right, so we got to deal with that as well. But we got the escape rope. So if uh, no other small guys make their way to the bench, but it looks like another Poipoles about to make his. Well, it could be a let loose or a. Lele as well, I guess. Um, we can also find the Guzma off the Stellar Wish and allow us to just knock out the Ditto. Don't have to worry about that Muck guy coming down anytime soon. Uh, it does take take a big hit to our deck to uh, have to deal with Muck. Um, if we don't want to deal with Muck. Not good. Ooh, a Wondrous Labyrinth. That means they're not going to be able to GX attack themselves this turn, though. Um, and we can still attack. We can... Uh, Coco, the energy onto our Zapdos, and then uh, once again, play a switch or an escape rope. Don't want to do that, but it's not the worst if we have to do it. Could also just find a counter stadium. We'll probably just play to find a counter stadium or something like that. Getting out the Grimer and the Ditto. Gonna make it hard for us to actually ever force that out of play. There is two Blacephalons in play, which is pretty good for us. Uh, I'm gonna start with a Cellar Wish here. Found the stretcher. Does that do anything for us? Not really. Could get the lily. Nothing really does anything. We're just gonna go for a switch punch the active here. Um, got the shrine. Switch into the zappy bird. And then we definitely want to activate the Coco Prism here. So we're hoping to find another zap dose that we can put this energy onto. There he is. Another zap guy. And um couldn't nest ball for the buzzwool right now. A little aggressive to do that, maybe. Um, also don't have a draw supporter, so I could actually nest ball for a, another Jirachi escape board that, and then use the seller wish. I think we want to do that here just to make sure we have a draw supporter next turn. Cause I haven't retreated yet. So yeah, I can still go escape rope, see what they send up. Mm -hmm. 
I imagine it'll either be the other Blacephalon or the, the Grimer. One of those two. Can't imagine it being anything else. But they might surprise us. I mean, I guess it should be the Poipole, actually, because then this just becomes a Muck. But you have the option of both for a Muck. So, yeah, so they should end up the Poipole or the Blacephalon here. I'm actually not sure which one's best. To probably just sacrifice the Poipole here. Um, but our opponent's taking their time deciding on this one. <laughs> they have no idea what they want to send up here. Gotta send up something, though. Come on. Bring one of them up. Alrighty, then. Yeah, I think Poiple is the best thing for our opponent to set up here. They're going to go with the Blacephalon. That's fine with me. Get off another Shadow Wish before we potentially lose abilities. Guzma. Ultra Ball. It's going to have to be the Guzma, I think. We need a... Oh, no. We have Ultra Ball for uh, Zeb Shrika. All right. So, I think I may as well just use the Zeb Shrika this turn immediately. It unfortunately means we have to lose two Rainbow Energy. So, that kind of stinks. But um, I do want to start drawing cards with Sprint. So... Um, hopefully the extra draw power from the Zep Shrika makes up for losing those and we're able to like draw into our other rainbow and beast energy when we need them or just lightning energy when we need them because now we're just kind of really low on energy in general gonna use this before muck potentially makes its way into play just set up another zapdos that's fine and then retreat and attack with one of the birds with the thunderous assault all right so we're doing okay then um not too bad uh yet the two double rainbow discard could be really big down the line we'll have to wait and see still have five energy left in the deck two rainbow one beast two lightning so yeah i'm not too worried about the situation but it could uh get out of control very quickly um for sure could definitely get out of control and we could be in trouble there's an again from our opponent we can use this ourselves to go ahead and grab probably buzzwool this turn get him into play on the bench don't really need anything else to put into play so Probably do that. There's a Cynthia. And they're definitely looking for the muck here. Shut down our Jirachis. There's the muck immediately. Out of the hand from Cynthia. And then we'll probably just see a burst GX here from our opponent to uh, draw a prize card. Oh, they're not done yet. They got a little bit more to go through. Second Naganadel, I assume, here. Yep, there it is. And I assume that'll be followed up by the burst GX after some uh, recharges. Uh, charging ups, not not a recharges, not psychic recharge. Charging ups. There we go. Charging up, charging up, and then uh, like I said, I assume uh, burst GX, but I guess they could potentially have a E switch in hand and then attack with that. Nope. There's the burst GX getting rid of another Blacephalon. Our draw for turn is an Ultra Ball. Not particularly good, but I could thin out both of those Lilies. Lily, not extremely good at this point, but we don't have a ton of draw supporters in deck. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Buzzwool and just throw it in play right now. Uh, we'd have to still have two stretchers in deck so we could potentially get it back um if our opponent uh does some shenanigans all right we are doing currently 70 damage not quite enough to take the knockout here but we could do 70 damage and then sprint and try and find some more damage potentially or we could just do 70 um a little bit of an awkward spot i think i am gonna go for this bigger hit here and we'll sprint away the hand. We do lose a Stretcher and a Nihilago, which could come back to bite us, but I don't know. I have a feeling this might be worth it. Yeah, there's a Shrine. That will do it, I think. And then, yeah, Thunderous Assault. 70. Oh, not quite, right? We'll be still be off by 10? Yeah, we're still off by 10, but hopefully the Shrine on the way back ticks through. Hopefully they don't find another Stadium of their own and remove it, and this Blacephalon will be knocked out uh, through those means. That would be great for us. So we're getting into a little bit of a scary spot here, um, which is kind of how this game is playing out. We're just kind of running out of attackers. We still have one stretcher left. We still have a decent amount of energy left, so I, maybe I'm a little I'm a little bit more worried than I need to be. There's a Guzma from our opponent. Looks like they're just gonna go ahead and deal with our Buzzwool immediately. Um, we could still potentially get it back and attack with it. This isn't a huge deal for us as long as the Shrine sticks in play. I don't really care if. Uh, this buzz will goes down to the Splicephalon. Um, it is just going to be a Bursting Burn, though. All right, so that's super good for us. Not dealing with it immediately. That's that, that, that was pretty good. There we go. Two prizes off that bench Blacephalon. Uh Guzma would be nice here. Eh, not quite. That's fine. Um, probably just going to go with an Escape Rope. We'll see what our topic is. That is the Guzma. All right. Um, so we can Guzma just go ahead and pick on this Poipul if we want. We could just bring up the Muck and try and trap it active. Um, we also have all of our Guzmas left, so we could... Oh, wait, we're down one Guzma. So we could just try and trap the the, the Muck. 
Um, or we could wait to Guzma knock it out once our opponent draws another prize um, with the Buzz Wool. So we have a couple options here. We could also play Escape Rope and see what our opponent sends up. I think I'm going to go Guzma knock out Poible here with this Zapdos. <laughs> Yeah, Thunderous Assault. Clean it, knockout there on the Poipool. Going down to three. Um, yeah, you can guys can kind of see why. This matchup is just definitely just like fairly favored. Um, kind of just a matter of time. Like, we just, we, as long as we set up and can attack, we're going to get ahead in the prize lead. Like, they have to use both Cephalons to take knockouts. And again, it'll not super efficient at knocking out anything besides the Buzzle. It's the only thing it can knock out efficiently if they're not on the three prize turn. So, like, no matter what, we'll eventually just kind of get ahead in the prize exchange. There's a turning point from our opponent, only for 80, though. So not quite going to do enough. We're going to go ahead and escape rope this guy out of here. There's the beast energy for later as well. So everything's looking great here. We'll see what they send up. Um, we have the double E power, so we can knock out anything. There, They send up the muck. All right, so that's that'll get us our Jirachis back online. Like I said, double E power, knock out the muck, and then we just need to finish this guy off to close out the game. Uh, so all we need is a Guzma pretty much at this point. Retreat back into our Zapdos, and then Thunderous Assault, knock out. Clean that guy up. Get ourselves another prize card. There's the Guzma. So we're pretty much just... Uh, one turn away from winning the game. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything our opponent can do to stop us. Um, we'll see. They would have to, like, let loose us. Maybe that is what their one card hand is. It could be a let loose or a Lele. They're like, okay, KO the Muck. I'll get reaccess to my abilities and uh, be able to finally uh, draw some cards uh, with maybe a Lele or a let loose. Yep, there's the Lele. I'm assuming that was the card that they were sitting holding onto. Could have been their top deck as well. Either way, they fed us the Muck so they could get access to Lele. Here they go. They got access to the Lele. Going to finally be able to play a draw supporter there's the ericas for six um but they're definitely all, they're also going to definitely need a let loose our hand is a uh, stacked we have the game pretty much no matter what um besides let loose but even if they let loose us i think we're still going to be able to probably find it they no longer have the muck in play so we're gonna have access to jirachi plus sprint be able to draw a ton and get access to a ton of cards out of our deck between those two um even if they let loose us um, so i'm feeling good about this one no matter what Attach a Blacephalon, but I don't think they want to be attacking the Blacephalon. There's the Let Loose, like I said. Only way they can win the game, I'm sure they know that. They're like, well, that hand is way too big, and our uh, Blacephalon has way too much damage on it. And there's the Let Loose. All right, hand not great off the start. Definitely still possible for us to whiff the uh, the knockout here. Let's go ahead and send up this Jirachi. Maybe I should send up this one, actually, because I have the switch. Yeah, I should have sent up the other Jirachi first. There's a draw of an Ultra Ball. Stellar Wish. That's not a Guzma. Go ahead and grab the Nest Ball here. Might just go ahead and... Uh, actually, we have no way to really knock that thing out. Let's go ahead and retreat into this one. See if we can't find that... Uh, what's it called? No Luck. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I messed up the ordering of this in any way. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this escape board. Uh, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away the Nest Ball and this, because I don't think I need either of those anymore. We're gonna get this last Zapdos. I'm gonna bench it, uh, attach to it, uh, escape board to active, uh, switch into this one. At the very least, we can attack with it, and then we're gonna sprint. And if we find Guzma, we're just gonna Guzma knock out this Blissef on with this Zapdos. One, two, three, four. There's the Guzma. And that'll be game. Let's get the knockout here with the Thunderous Assault on the Blacephalon GX. So yeah, like I said, at the beginning of the game, very favorable matchup as long as we're able to play the game. Even despite them having the muck, we got the sprint set up early and the muck didn't really slow us down at all. They even fed it to us at one point because they had to get access to their basic abilities. So we take a pretty easy game here in this game one against the Blacephalon deck. Another game here going second. And it's all right. Uh, it's actually pretty good. We have a lot of options to take some early knockouts potentially. All right, looks like we got a, well, Jirachi Engine Mirror match at the very least. Um, should be able to get a Zapdos. We can get like Zapdos, attach a Zapdos, bench the Nihilago, and then Lily for six. Looking for a um, switch card. We could, we might Stellar Wish first if we really want to find a Guz Guzma, but if their Jirachi remains active, I would settle for just knocking out their active Jirachi personally. So not, uh, not too worried at looking past this Jirachi. Knocking out this Jirachi is more than enough i think all right there they got an ultra ball see what that leads to 
Now the Jirachi makes its way into the bench. Yeah, so not sure what uh, build. Like we could be playing Mirror Match with the Ultra Beasts. We could be playing against just the straight Zapdos. E Power leaves. E Powers are super important in any like Zapdos Mirror Match. But they could also be playing like a Picaram or Lightning Box with the Jirachi engine in there. Um, there's a Zapdos though, so I'm feeling like it's probably a more Zapdos based deck based on uh, how it's been going so far. And the question is, is just is it the straight Zapdos deck or is it uh, more of a uh, Beast Box Zapdos deck, like the one we're playing? As they go in with the Volkner. Imagine what it'll be for a Lightning Energy and a Skateboard. Going for the Switch instead, so I guess you're going to switch into the other Jirachi. I think a skateboard's just a tad better there. Maybe they're all prized for them. We'll see. There's the switch. Um, I guess the one thing they could be thinking about is they want to save the skateboard for next turn for sure. I still feel like a skateboard is probably the better pull there. There's an escape rope. I'm not going to do a whole ton for our opponent um, this turn. Maybe next turn. And I expect to see them pass here. Yep, there's the pass. All right. Over to us. Guzma. We could just go for the Guzma knockout. Let's go ahead and grab a Zapdos. And then now we might just sell a wish right now and then see what it gives us. We could just go for a Guzma knockout. Um, so I'm going to sell a wish first here. We got an escape board, so we're just going to take the knockout on the active. I wouldn't have really hated the Guzma knockout, but um, I'd much rather build on our hand than not. We know they have an escape board, so we're definitely going to bench the Nihilago. Um, we probably bench it no matter what, get that extra draw off the Lily. Um, Let's see, Nest Ball, gonna grab the Blitzel, I think. Zepstrika is in here. We could grab another Jirachi, but I think Blitzel is a little bit better of a grab. Gonna go ahead and put the second Zapdos down, throw our Shrine in play, and then just retreat and take the knockout. And we have a ways to take knockouts for a couple turns here. Um, depending on the way the game fully plays out. Um, yeah, I mean, our opponent could like go Guzma, KR, Jirachi, maybe just knock out our active, whatever. We have ways to take a couple knockouts over the next couple turns. We can get like a Guzma knockout on this Jirachi, which I'm sure will make its way to the bench. Maybe we can just knock out their Zapdos. Yeah, it really depends on how their turn, how their turn plays out will affect how our turn plays out. There's their escape board. So now they really just have the option if they want to knock out something off my bench or with a Guzma. I don't think they would play escape rope here um, because if they play escape rope, it's just going to have me sending up my Nihilago. Um, but they might actually go for it. They might actually go for the retreat into Jirachi here, which will end up probably in them using the escape rope. They really need to like, it looks like they're really digging for a draw supporter here. This is one of the reasons I actually don't really like the Volkner builds. Um, generally, it's like one to two Volkners, but they're taking the place of just like extra Cynthia's and stuff. And like, I'm sure they would have much rather played a Cynthia here on the turn one than a Volkner. Volkner feels pretty weak overall. There's a Guzma gonna deal with our Blitzel. Uh, solid choice from our opponent, I think. Um, goodbye, Blitzel. That's fine with me, though. I'm going to go ahead and send up the Jirachi. Top deck, Coco GX. Not great. It's still our wish here. Just looking for more pieces to keep us in the game. Another E-Power isn't that great. I think the Stretcher is actually what I want to go with here. Um, and then I think I will E-Power knock out this Zapdos. So we can either E-Power knock out this Zapdos or we can Guzma knock out this Jirachi. I think I'm going to E-Power knock out this Zapdos. E-Power. I'm going to go ahead and bench the Buzz. Retreat. Yeah, I think E-Power knock out the Zapdos is a little bit better. I want to save the Guzma to potentially use with the Buzzwool. So we can get a KO with Sledgehammer, but Sledgehammer can't actually KO a Zapdos. So I feel like I'd rather have go Rainbow Guzma KO with Jirachi with the Buzzwool. Then make them kind of have to deal with this Buzzwool. Um, if they don't have a Guzma themselves, which they might not. So then force that issue onto them. Um, the Coco Prism is making its way down, so they don't use that this turn. That's something we could KO with the Sledgehammer. Um, they might also just whiff a knockout this turn. Nothing good coming out of the hand besides the Coco Prism, so they still need quite a bit. Oh, looks like they're cruising now, though. Um, just need an E-Power. They'll get the knockout. We'll definitely look to take out, take this thing out with our uh, Buzzwool ourselves. Yeah, so they need an E-Power. There's another Zapdos. Yeah, it looks like this is probably a straight Zapdos build. Only seen Lightning Energies and Zapdos so far, so if I had to guess, I would assume. It is a straight Zapdos build. There's another Volkner. Once again, like I said, I don't like the Volkners. I'm personally not a big fan. They yeah, to each their own, I guess. Uh, that's not an E-Power, though, so they might be whiffing the knockout here, which is a big deal. Nope, there it is. There's the E-Power. Whenever I whenever I think, oh, maybe they whiffed. Always got it in the end. All right, so we're definitely going to go Guzma knock out their Coco, Coco Prism with the Buzzwool's Sledgehammer here. Going to go ahead. Stellar Wish. Another E-Power is never bad. And then we're going to retreat into the other Jirachi because we can get that extra use of Stellar Wish while... We want to get that extra use of Stellar Wish while we can. Um, 
Just how I wish. Another Guzma is always good. Attach, and then Guzma. Take this guy out while we can. Uh, sledge, hammer. Remove that from play, remove that threat from play. I think it's the best way to go about it there. All right, another Guzma. The only thing we don't have here is energy. We have a Zapdos, stretcher for a Zapdos. Uh, we don't, we're running out of ways to attack with them, though. We don't have energy in hand. Um, things we could draw. Nest Ball, or get off of the Stellar Wish, actually, is more likely. You can get the Nest Ball. You can get the uh, Ultra Ball for the Coco Prism. You can also get the Energy Lotto. could also just top deck an Energy. So we have a lot of ways to get the Energy. There's a Guzma from our opponent. Ooh, bringing up our Zapdos. So I guess they have an E-Power. This would this is like the biggest knockout they could actually possibly take. Oh, no knockout. So they're trying to just stall us at this point. We see we still have Sledgehammer turn, so this is fine with me. Got that Ultra Ball there. Definitely going to take out this guy with the Sledgehammer. So now we are super far ahead. All we need to do is get energy, and then I don't think there's any way we lose. Get cards out of our deck as well. Grab this Choice Band. Just going to go ahead and throw this. Uh, then there's the concession from our opponent. Yeah, they're a little bit too too far behind at that point. That's really why I don't like the Volkner build. So just too, a little bit too slow, I think, in my opinion. Um, much rather play a Cynthia on the turn than the Volkner on the early turns. Later in the game, sure, you guarantee what you want sometimes, but you got to get to the later. You got to be comfortable in the later game to actually get there. And for that, you need to play stuff like Cynthia just so you can see cards. Um, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Like I said, Zapdos Beasts, by far my favorite deck in Standard. I don't know if it's the best deck, but it's by far my favorite. Most fun to play. Most fun deck that I have. Uh, most... Most fun I have with any deck right now in Sanders, definitely Zapdos Ultra Beast. So check it out. Um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, links to my live stream and social media is in the description below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.